in this lecture we are going to learn about a string that is of the form a to the power of n b to the power of m c to the power of l okay where n m and l are greater than or equal to 1 and they are of course natural numbers okay so what it means your language and your alphabet is a b c so it will be something like a a b c this is accepted all are greater than 1 a a b c okay so i can write a to the power of n so a cube b square c cube this is fine a b to the power of 5c is fine and so on so it's an infinite language so how to design this one okay so i should be accepting but one of each one of them is necessary so let's try to think about it how to proceed so i start here so initially i should get 1a at least so i should come to a state that at least 1a i have got okay so i have got 1a now whatever how many more a's you get so i am fine with it i will remain in the state which is of the form i am getting a to the power of n where a is greater than or equal to 1 so greater than or equal to 1 i got through this and then a to the power of n how many a's you want then what happens but if you get a b initially or a c then it's not the correct string so i should come to a dead state it's not accepted so it is basically initially if you get a b or a c you go to a dead state so then whatever a b c you get they are all useless okay but because of you got a b or a c initially it is of the form a to the power of n so initially i must get one a at least next let's try to see about b so i should also get after getting at least one a and then as many a as you want i should get one b i get one b then i can get as many b's as i want this is fine and i go to the next state where i want at least one c and then i can again get as many c's as i want okay so but after getting one a and if you get something which is not b let's say it is a a that is fine but if you get a c then there is a problem so i will reach this state if there is a c okay i go to a b i have got then i get an a again so a b and then a again so this is a problem so here if you get an a it's a problem so you get into the dead state a to the power of b to the power and c so here it's fine but after the end also if a b c to the power of 5 if you get a b then again it's a problem so c is fine here but if you get a b it's a problem in the end you should only get c so this is the final state and if you again get a or b in the end you go to the dead state so this is the dfa for your string which is of the form a to the power of n b to the power of n c to the power of l and these ones were required because i need at least one a one b and one c if you got b or c initially you would have gone to dead state if after getting a a i get a c i will go to a dead state if after getting a b i get a again i will go to dead state if after perfectly getting a to the power of n b to the power of n c to the power of l if i get a b again again i will go to the dead state okay so this is about having a string of the form a to the power of n b to the power of m c to the power of l if let's say we had some variation let's say let's look at a to the power of m b to the power of n c to the power of l where a is greater than or equal to 1 b is greater than 0 and c is greater than or equal to 2 what will happen then so i will start a is greater than 1 so a i should get 1a i have got 1a you can have then as many a's as you want i can have then b should be greater than 0 what does it mean i might not have a b 
okay so what will happen here so i cannot have also a b so then what should happen so i go to a state so b i can have a b or i cannot have a b so this one is a b i get and then i can keep on getting b's that is fine but if i get a c that is also fine here and i should get at least 2c so i go here and this is my final state a to the power of m is greater than equal to 1 b you can miss also so you go to c and then c you can have it should have greater than equal to 2c so this is there b if i get b to the power of m is following and then what should happen if i get a c so i should come to this state here okay so is it right so b to the power of n and then c so i have got one c here also and from here also and then two c's and then i'm moving so this I, it seems to be correct okay but you need to check so this is just for your practice and i would be happy if you can uh, give some corrections in it so a i have got if i get a b or a c then again i am in a dead state a b c if a is there and then i get instead of b i get a c it is fine a i get then also it is fine so this state is fine b here is fine c here is fine but what happens if i get a a after getting a b i get an a then it is not fine so i will again reach this state on getting a c here if i get a c a to the power of n b to the power of n or directly c this is fine but after c if you get what so even if you get after getting a c you get a or p then you go here c two c's after that also if you get a or a b you go to this state okay so i hope this is correct now so this way you can see how it goes so b even if i missed i could have gone here if i get b that is also fine okay one b i got then i can go on with b but zero b is also there is a path 1b and then multiple b's is also a path okay so this i hope and every state a b c is handled a b c is handled b c and a is handled c is handled a b is handled c a b is handled so i hope this is correct now if you have can see any problem you can report it to me because this i want to give it as a practice to you i just spontaneously came to this problem so and i think it's correct so a and then it's b and it can move forward this path this can bypass and then it can come to c so this is about a to the power of n b to the power of n c to the power of l where a is greater than equal to 1 b is greater than equal to greater than 0 c is greater than equal to 2 so this is the final state so I hope you understand this. Thanks a lot.